everyone, happy Valentine's Day! Today we're going to be doing a new video that is a little bit different uh, because we have Jan here. Welcome Jan! Hello! <laughs> we're going to be doing a Q&A with him. So thank you so much for sending your questions and let's get to it! Okay, so just so you know a little bit more about Jan, he is my husband and <laughs> we got married last year. It was a very small wedding because of COVID. It was only 10 people, including us. But I think it was very special, right? It was very special, of course. <laughs> so we got many questions now that we're recording. So I'm going to read them now. So it says, one is, do you miss Mexican food? It's so hard sometimes in Germany to find food restaurants. And Jan <laughs> wants to answer this question. So. Yeah, it seems like the person who asked maybe where it was in Germany or lives here. Uh, and maybe she, I think it's, she's Mexican. <laughs> so. Yeah, that I, I understand. <laughs> we, we both love Mexican food. Yes. Um, and... It's actually maybe not that hard to find it here in Berlin, maybe other parts of Germany a little bit harder. But um, since we live here for some years now, we have some stores in the neighborhood where we can mm -hmm. buy pretty much most of the things we need. And also through the Corona pandemic, we learned to make a lot of stuff like tortillas from the scratch and, yeah. and all different <laughs> kind of salsas. And so we cook Mexican food every day, sometimes even more often than that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and it's great, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we find many so, chiles, for example, guajillo, poblano, we find uh, chile de árbol. So, yeah, and also we know a very amazing chef here. She's Mexican and her name is Yvette. I'm going to uh, also put her Instagram account here. If you're in Berlin, I would really recommend that you follow her. She's amazing and she always makes the best pan de muerto and rosca de reyes. So, yeah, we're very lucky that we found her, yeah, I think. We love Mexican food. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the next question is, how do you all meet? And this is a very popular question, many of you asked this. So what I was thinking is maybe you could start the story and then uh, if Jan misses something, I can just jump in. So yeah, you can start. Yeah. Well, I'm sure I'm going to miss something over so many days. And so many beautiful <laughs> memories. And, uh, just... Yeah. Um, so where did we meet? We, we met in, in Czech Republic. I was studying there and uh, I was also a summer school, summer school program coordinator mm -hmm. for a summer school that Lucia came over to study at. Mm -hmm. We were studying history and European studies. Yes. That was back in 2014 and um, well, we started to hang out more and, 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 and kind of like each other as we go on these uh, excursions that were part of the program to other cities in Europe like in Budapest, in Vienna and Prague. Yeah, it was and, really nice actually. And it's pra and Prague is actually where we started uh, uh, started dating, I mm -hmm. think. We were in this park. You can tell us about it if you want. Yeah, like. the park was, uh, it's like a hill that overlooks the the old town in Prague, right? Like the castle, the yeah. castle, yeah, I think. Yeah, it was a Prague castle in the old town. Yeah. yeah, and it's super beautiful. And I remember that uh, for some reason it was only us because the student, some of the students that were with us left to other places and then it was just us <laughs> in the park. When, we, when this happened, it was 11 days before I was going to return to Canada. So I thought that maybe nothing was going to happen because, I mean, I really liked him and I think there was some chemistry there. But I was like, okay, there is no way that, I mean, I'm going back, right? But then I said that I was cold because I had forgotten my coat because I always forget it. And he hugged me. And they, yeah, so <laughs> I think then I was like, okay, maybe something's gonna happen. But it was 11 days before I left. So as Jan said, we were, I uh, know, uh, I think you didn't see it, you didn't say it, but we were actually going on secret dates uh, after this because he was a staff and I was a student. So it was partially not allowed. Like it was kind of like a rule in between the lines, I guess, or something. Yeah, like after hours when I was with yeah. the students or you were in your class, then, then we would meet and then... Uh... And then, yeah, so that's how everything started. And then after the 11 days, we decided that we wanted to try to see if we, if we could make it work. And that's how, when I went back to Canada, we had long distance and then we started to try to work out how we would make it work <laughs> because we were in two different continents, right? Yeah. But yeah, the rest is history. Now we're in Berlin and it worked out. <laughs> yeah. So follow your, car, your heart. <laughs> well, that's the moral of the story, right? Like I think that whenever you have a gut feeling or you feel that uh, there is some connection there with someone or with something that 
uh, gives you happiness, I think you should just go for it, right? Okay, next one. Are you planning to stay in Germany forever? No, oh, that's a very good question too. That has been a question for us for a long time and yeah. we don't really know the answer. No. That's the answer, but... Uh, I think that's a question of our relationship, where we're gonna live. <laughs> Yeah, we have in a uh, sense. both our families are in different places. We have also lived lived from between Mexico, Czech Republic, Canada, mm -hmm. um, other places in Europe. So we uh, we'll see. If you know, let us know in the comments below. Where we live. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, well, at least for the next years, maybe yeah. we'll stay here. Well, we have a bunch of plans that we like, so um, we <laughs> cannot move all the time. <laughs> Maybe you can put them in a big cargo ship container and go with a Maybe. <laughs> four meter monstera, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. The answer is that we don't know it forever, but we like it here at least for now. So yeah, at least for now we'll stay here and then we'll see what happens. So does he speak Spanish and do you speak German? Uh, do you speak Spanish, Jan? <laughs> sí, yo hablo español. Mm -hmm. Sí, a ver. Un poco, un poco más. And we sí. speak Spanish sometimes together. And also with Lucia's family, yeah. when we go there to Canada for Christmas or when we talk to our more distant family in Mexico. Yeah. In Spanish, so, solo en español. Yeah, actually I'm just trying to study some more Spanish right yes. now. Uh, but, but I think her, his Spanish is really good. Yeah, and how about your German? Uh, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch, aber ich muss uh, mehr lernen. <laughs> yeah, aber ich du denke. bist ganz gut. Yeah. yeah. So I studied some German uh, last year, every day, and I think I've gotten better, but uh, it's still new to me. So I can speak, like, I can speak basic things that I can use to survive here in Berlin. Of course, here in Berlin, many people speak English, but, uh, but yeah, I think we can speak German. We yeah. even had a, 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 we have a new game, Wingspan, which is amazing, and it's all in German, and we understand everything. I mean, he speaks German, but yeah, yeah. but I also understand, which is really great. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice game. We like to play board games. It's about yeah. birds, so maybe it'll be one of our plants, a similar one. Yeah, that would be amazing. Maybe we need to make it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe that would be a good idea. Okay, so uh, did you ever have long distance? We yes. Did. Yes. Twice. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, twice. That's true. You know, uh, we met and then we were together for 11 days, and then I had to go back to Canada because we met in Czech Republic. And yeah, we had long distance for six months, I yeah, think. Yeah, for six months. And yeah, you know, it was, it was difficult, but it was also really nice, right? Yeah. We, we used to have this Google Drive and we used to put like the dates, like our, whenever we were going to have a Skype call and then what we would do. So either a board game or watch a movie or watch The Office because we used to watch The Office a lot. And it was really nice because it was kind of like exciting to see what we're going to do that date or when we were going to meet. Yeah. And then the visits were really exciting too. I mean, yeah. that was not the first time, but the second time when, uh, oh, yeah. when we were long distance for like nine months, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, then, uh, then also it was just like exciting to be looking forward to the next visit. But of course, guys, go for it, but uh, <laughs> it, can, it can be really tough too sometimes. So. Yeah, it can be tough. I think the biggest thing for long distance is that you want, you want to know when it's going to end. So you don't want to be in a long distance. Well, I don't know, but at least for us, it helped to know that at some point we were going to see each other again and we were going to live somewhere together, yeah. right? I think that was very helpful for us. So, yeah, but yeah, I think if you're in a long distance relationship, kudos for you. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I guess it can be fun sometimes, but yeah, of course it's difficult. It has Fingers its things. Fingers crossed for you. Yes. <laughs> and if it doesn't work out, get a plant. <laughs> no. Okay, so did your family approve you moving to Germany? Latina problems. Hashtag Latina problems. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that was a little bit difficult. I mean, my family was very respectful, I think. But uh, at, when I was, because the first time that I moved out from the house was actually when I went to Czech Republic because Jan was also in Czech Republic at the time. And my dad was very okay with it. Like, of course he was like, he was sad, but my mm -hmm. mom was, a, I think for my mom, it was a little bit more difficult. The Latina yeah. mother. <laughs> I think they didn't also know me and you were, uh, yeah. you were just moving somewhere else outside of a country where you came only with your uh, Outside family. of the continent. <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
But the second time when you moved to Germany, I think it was easier it was because... Uh, because he was already we in all Canada. We knew each other by then. Yeah. We lived in Canada for a year together. Yeah. So... That was better, yeah. Yeah. But in the beginning, it was difficult, of course, because they didn't know him and it was just hard. Of course, they wanted us to be closer to the family, but that's why we're, try we're trying to uh, make a living where we can actually go visit them more often and we can be close. And we talk to them a lot so, yeah. because I don't know about you guys, whoever is Latino, but we have a WhatsApp group and we, we call almost every day with them. So yeah, and the, pandemic, the family is and the here. Pandemic just multiplies them, so now we can really enjoy all our family and friends. Yeah. And... Okay, the next one is another one that is a very good one, and is where did we get married, and how was the wedding planning, and then in brackets two weddings. That's yeah. a long story, right? Yeah, but it's a fun story. Yeah, <laughs> we we were planning married to get married uh, in 2021. In 2021, actually, but as you guys all know, um, <laughs> the pandemic came and yeah we sort of went with the flow for some time but then we were thinking you know we won't be able to get married in czech republic next year actually it's this year yeah as we well were... we were gonna go we were gonna get married in czech republic but we were inviting people from canada mexico germany so after the pandemic is like we thought okay this is not gonna happen yeah. <laughs> and i was also really excited to get married so, <laughs> <laughs> so we figured out in the summer that we will get married somewhere we research some places and then we figure out that uh, the easiest and the best will be to get married last september in 2020 in, in canada mm -hmm. we decided like a month and a half before the wedding so uh it was yeah. just eight people or nine people with your niece for the for that and mm -hmm. like a uh, hundred guests online which uh which we don't regret and was really nice mm -hmm. and we uh it was really, really nice. Yeah, we got married outside, had just a little picnic table and got married under the trees and uh, yeah. with the uh, officiant wearing a face mask. So it was also a little bit symbolic, but um, it so was, it was just a very a really small wedding. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we uh, because we live in Germany and we decided to move to uh, to have the wedding in Canada. So we would have some family there and uh, we had to do the two week uh, quarantine. So we were just like staying in a basement <laughs> like for quarantine but it was nice because in those two weeks because it was so fast we could plan a little bit more yeah which we was also good for us just working and planning the wedding yeah we couldn't go out but that was really good because even for small wedding uh yeah two weeks or three or four weeks that we had isn't that much time so yeah. but um it was great and i think now after it's just uh it's just a great feeling, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice feeling actually. And it was a small wedding, but it was really, it was really special. And yeah, so it was not like the Mexican or like Czech wedding that, well, Mexican weddings are really big, Czech weddings are a little smaller, but I think this one was even smaller than Czech wedding. <laughs> oh yeah. But it, I think it was nice, like uh, people that we loved were there uh, virtually. Yeah. So we could share that moment. And also some, like my family was there, which was really nice. And yeah, it was really special. Yeah, to anyone who wants to do it or is deciding, I'd, I'd recommend. <laughs> the, yeah. The technology these days is far enough to, to make it worse and be really happy with everyone about it. Yeah. Uh, does your husband have a favorite plant? That's always a hard question. We have so <laughs> yeah, many ones. Hard. Um, but um, recently I found out I really like like different kind of succulents. They grow like these thick, thick leaves. Uh, like, uh, what's the, what's it called? Um, the Echeverria? No. The Traviscancia Silamontana. It's kind of <laughs> this, uh, fluffy with like, yeah. sort of like a white uh, fur. Um, mm -hmm. And also like the Oxalis Triangularis. Wow. But down. we don't have that one anymore. We don't have that <laughs> one anymore, yeah. We actually, we, in the previous apartment we were, we, uh, we our landlords had it there, so we were taking care of it and it was really nice, so. Um, and also like the Monstera and, and, and many other plants. Wow, you know many plants. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. So does he love plants as much as you? That's a tricky question, huh? Um, probably not. I mean, I really like them, but um, it's hard to compare to uh, somebody who takes care of the plants all the time and really likes them. So I think I'm a little <laughs> behind, but it's really nice. But he likes them. Yeah, I really like plants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so do either of you both have a favorite species of tree? You do you have one? That one? Uh, for me, I would say, well, this is a pretty common tree, but I really, 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 really like the maple tree because it reminds me of home, which is Canada. And we had many maple trees when we got married and it was actually the fall, so they actually changed color. So that's really nice. But yeah. yeah. So I think that was, I would say that would be one of my favorites, but of course, I don't know. I mean, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I just thought since it's really, uh, it's winter now and I thought of like a different spruce and pine trees when it's in the mountains full of snow or even these small mountain pines. He's more of an outdoor guy. I don't know what they're called. So um, <laughs> yeah, those are really interesting trees. Okay, so the next question is, do you all speak other languages? If, if so, can we hear a small little conversation? <laughs> So as you can see, we have accents in English, so this is our second language. And yeah, we speak other languages. So my first language is Spanish. And my first language is Czech, Czech yeah. from Czech Republic. And then we speak English between each other, but uh, he speaks German. I'm learning German now because we live in Germany. And... That is right, you speak a little bit Deutsch. A little bit Deutsch, yeah. And I speak Spanish with you and with family too. Sí, hablamos español juntos a veces y de hecho Jan uh, practica español. What I just say is that he practices Spanish every day, I think. Yeah, and Lucia <laughs> practices German uh, when she came. We, we, when she studies, studies Spanish, we put like different stickers, not on the plants, but in German to learn the yes. vocabulary. So uh, around the house we have stickers with German vocabulary for the, for example, the table or the plant. And then we have uh, different colors. So blue, green, and pink, because there are the three genders. So blue is masculine, pink is feminine, and then uh, green is neutral. And that kind of like reminds us of what are the articles for each one of them. <laughs> so I think that's a good practice in the house, but yeah. Okay, so the next question is related to video production in the channel. And it says, first, what equipment and programs do you use for your video production and how much pro production time do you spend per video on average? Also, do you guys talk, sing to your plants? What's their favorite music? Okay, so these are very good questions. For the videos, as, as you may know, I actually use my phone <laughs> and also I wrote a Wi-Fi microphone. So it's very homemade videos, but at the same time, I think, yeah, some production is there, I guess. <laughs> but it's actually a funny story because Jan also works here because of COVID, he's working from home. So sometimes we have to kind of like see how I'm gonna record and how he's gonna have his meetings or vice versa. So that can be a little... <laughs> yeah, we have to accommodate. We're learning a new skill right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that will be one of the things that we have in our household. And yeah, for a video, on average, maybe I spend a day or two. So I record a video and then maybe another day to edit because that's what takes the longest, I guess. But I like it. I mean, sometimes it can be tiring, as he knows. Yeah. But, but yeah, I like it, I guess. It can be a lot of work and just like life, there's ups and downs, but... Uh... Yeah. And let's see, do you guys talk or sing to your plants? Mm, not really. I don't think I don't. we do. I sing for myself sometimes or, or, or something, <laughs> yes. but... Uh, yeah. Not to the plants. <laughs> not to the plants. I guess they listen. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they feel the vibrations. <laughs> but, uh, but I think because this is what's their favorite music. I don't know, but I know that uh, so I actually do play music when I water the plants. So it's like a nice mood in the house and I hope that they like it. I love to do it. Sometimes we play Italian songs. Sometimes we play just music that we like, like more alternative. But I think that it makes it more special because you really get into the mood and it's really nice. And if you guys uh, play music when you water your plants or do anything with your plants, let me know down in the comments because yeah, <laughs> it'll be nice to know. How and when did your love start for plants? How do you decide on what plants to buy? So, uh, well, my love for plants, I don't know, you can also say when your love for plants started, <laughs> but... No, I, get, I mean, I think we always like, like the plants or we had some plants in the house, uh, but not more than uh, most other friends or people we know um, mm -hmm, no. until, until like two years ago, yeah. Yes. So it, it was, yeah, it was like that actually. We didn't have so many plants in the house. I actually didn't know so much about plants before I even started this channel, but it was just a new journey for me and I wanted to just learn as a beginner and share with you guys. 
and I think the journey with plants actually started at the same time that the channel started and it's just so nice to now see all of these plants and all of this community like the whole community how it is growing so that has been really nice I think so yeah I think throughout this the, the last two years that's when we started learning more and more about plants and now it's just a very a very big part of our lives I think I mean of my life and then in consequence also of the answer. Of both of our lives. <laughs> a good one. And the next question is how do you decide on what plants to buy? That's a very good question. I guess it depends on your space and the kind of care that you want to give them or where you are in your journey. But I would recommend that you watch a, a playlist that I'm actually working on this month and I'm, I'm just uh, uploading many videos on that, how to select a plant, how to bring a plant home and what to do when you bring a plant home. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to put the playlist right here or here and yeah, just let me know what you think. Okay, so the next question is, I'd like to know how you met and how you both ended up in Germany. He's very cute, well both of you, thank you. <laughs> So, uh, well, we, we uh, answered the question of how we met, but yeah, so Jan is uh, from Czech Republic, from Europe, and I am from North America, specifically, I'm originally from Mexico, and then we moved to Canada, so I'm Mexican-Canadian and my family is there. So when we met, it was kind of like all over the place. We, we lived in Czech Republic, then we lived in Canada, and it was like, like that. And uh, at some point we ended up in Canada because I was doing a program in university and uh, the program was actually on European studies because uh, I studied history and that's actually how we met. Um, and one of the things that I had to do in the program is to do an internship in somewhere in Europe. So we decided that maybe Berlin was the best place uh, in terms of what I was studying and also in terms of how I it worked for our relationship so we could be a little bit longer in Berlin and kind of like not move so much around and I think in the end we ended up we ended up liking it right like it's kind of we never thought about living here the year or two after we no. met but now we're here for some time and uh, and and it's been really nice and we see I got our internship and um, I found a job and we start to like the city and uh, yeah, the rest things, is came, history. things came together and yeah the rest is history <laughs> and we'll see what comes yeah yeah but we really yeah. like it here it's a very international city so we we meet many people from all around, around the world and many couples are like us so it's really nice to just share that with other people here as well if you're from germany yeah, just comment, comment below, below and if you're from anywhere and else, say just hello comment above over to the sides <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so have you two argued about plants yes <laughs> yeah we we did and we still do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we argue a lot, but I love him, so it's okay. I love you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think we argue because I think one of the biggest things is because of last year, because of Corona, we both work from home. And it's not only about the YouTube channel, but also Jan has his meetings and he also has to work. And sometimes the plants as well uh, take some time or space. So when I have to water them, for example, we have a space here, but it's right in between his office and the kitchen. So <laughs> that can be a problem sometimes. Or... Yeah, so we're working out these little perks every day. Uh... But I guess, yeah, everyone is kind of like working on this because we basically, many of us are working from home. So I guess, yeah, it's about figuring it out. But yeah, but I think the plans are still the positive. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. They're, they're, they're really nice and when we fight we try to not to put the plants in the way. So it's just between us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, Lucia knows much more about plants than me, so I usually follow on when yeah, I help out with some care or something. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes I also learn about Jan because he knows some stuff that I don't know. So. Okay, so the next one is by Christy Dabu and she asked a very good question that was how do you ensure your plants are fine when you go away on vacation, especially for sensitive plants like alacias, if you don't have anyone else taking care of them while you're away? Which is a very good question because I think we've had this problem because as, I, well, as we said, our families are in another country. We live in Germany, but my family is in Canada, his family is in Czech Republic. So we try to visit them as much as possible. I mean, not this year, but yeah, yeah. before. So yeah, so we have to also take care of the plants when we're away. 
Uh, and I think the first thing would be our friends. I mean, I know that she says that when we don't have, but that would be one of the things that we do. We yeah. ask friends to come or the neighbors to water them. And we always, well, we try to uh, make a video or like, give instructions to them so it's easier for them because some plants may not need so much water, especially the calatheas, they need a lot of water or stuff like that. So that would be one thing. But of course, as you said, the calatheas or some prayer plants need more water and more humidity. So if that's the case, then we try to use the watering stakes, right? That's one. No. Yeah, that's one thing. Or just ask the friends to come over more often. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I think uh, as we get more and more plants, maybe at some point we're going to maybe uh, try to hire someone when we go away because sometimes we go away for a long period of time and if it's like if it's a lot if it's many plants it can be a lot for a friend to do so yeah we may have to yeah. hire there's a bit of a learning curve for the friend and then maybe it's a little bit intimidating to take care of a lot of plants mm -hmm. so but yeah i would say maybe the watering sticks is a good idea if you're going out maybe for a week or something like this this is very good because it's actually just uh automatic watering which is great uh, if you're going out for if you're going on vacation for longer than a week i would recommend that you maybe ask someone or something like this or maybe bring the plants that we have done too for example with the calasillas or plants that are more um, sensitive or more demanding we bring the plants to our friend's house so they don't have to come here and they can just take care of them in their houses which i think that had, that was also helpful Another question from Christy is, do you have a connection to Toronto, Canada? And yes, um, well, I am originally from Mexico, but my family and I moved to Canada when I was 15, so a long, a long time ago. I mean, not so long, but <laughs> we moved there and this is our home now, uh, Toronto, actually Toronto specifically. Uh, my whole family is there and yeah, it's like a, a second home to us, I guess, right? Yeah, it's one of the homes. Uh, important we go places. we go often there when we can yeah. we try to go because we want to visit the family and yeah so i'm mexican canadian jan is dating no sorry jan is, is married to a canadian <laughs> so yeah especially toronto i would say yeah so any people who, who are from toronto comment below we would love to hear from you so another question from expat gardener how do you like germany i'm a third generation american mexican blood I moved to Norway with my hobby 10 years ago. I love how you name your plants and your accent is a breath of fresh air. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, it's so nice to hear from another Mexican. Hello. Um, I think, how do we find Germany? How do we find Germany? Sorry. We, uh, uh, we like Germany. I mean, we, we, live, we, in like we live in Berlin and, and Germany is a big country too. So uh, <laughs> we're yet to discover every, every end of it. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think I know Germany a little Yeah, better she knows it better than me. Yeah. I lived just across the border when I grew up. In Czech Republic. Uh, in Czech Republic. But uh, we like it and we especially like Berlin. It's very, it's very international, very... Full of the, artists. Through the, through the dark history, through the complicated history. Mm -hmm. uh, very dynamic city yeah. uh, compared to some other maybe more traditional cities in Europe. And uh, so the kind of people that come here, we... We like that. <laughs> yeah, we have a very nice community here too, so it's nice. And yeah, I think, but yeah, I would love to explore more of Germany. Like we've, we've, we've been to other cities, but I think you have explored more, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I think we really like it. And I would love to learn more German. Like last year I was learning German and this year because of COVID, the classes were stopped, but maybe I'm gonna continue online because yeah, I also like the language, so yeah. Mm -hmm. But Jan put it really nicely, so yeah, I would agree with what he said. It's a very vibrant city, at least Berlin, and I think Germany in general is a very interesting country and super beautiful. So yeah, yeah. As well as we Nor really like it. As well as Norway. Yes, uh, as well as Norway. So hello some, to Norway. Spend some time and so. Uh, yeah, he really likes it too. Okay, uh, Marta Miriam asked, where is that set set he is carrying? So uh, he's talk she's talking about this one here. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, well, that was a big one, first of all. That was a very big one, and then our friend who had to leave Berlin 
and moved back to the United States. Mm -hmm. Actually, you made a video with Rebecca. Yes, yes, I, uh, I can put the link somewhere here <laughs> so you can see it. And um, <laughs> she's so amazing. She wanted somebody to take care of her plants, and uh, we got uh, from her some of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, this plant was really big. We brought it on the subway, yeah. which was a little bit of a challenge. And then, uh, <laughs> well, actually, recently we. Yes, decided please. to split it into several plants because it was uh, really big and needed more space. So we took opportunity to make it a little younger. I can also put the link for that because we reported that plant. But actually it was really interesting because I didn't know so much about this one. Like we have another sese plant here, which is growing new leaves. But this one was really, really big and uh, it started flowering. And I didn't know that I was really excited when I saw the flowers. But then I learned that when a set set plant in a pot flowers, that means that they're stressed, like they're trying to reproduce. So when I learned that, I'm like, okay, so then we have to divide it so it has more space. And now we have three, uh, this plant is now three plants. And one of them is actually growing a new leaf. So I'm very excited about that. And yeah, so that's the story of that plant. Uh, we have another question from a friend here in Berlin and he says, why did your hair get so long, Jan? <laughs> So why? <laughs> well, you can take a guess. I've uh, been home for a long time. <laughs> the hairdressers have been closed and... Uh, I don't know how to cut the hair. It just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. I mean, we don't go out much, so... And I don't get to be in the shots that often. Like, <laughs> only now, so, so it's alright. I cut my own hair, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, when the barber stores open again, and here in Germany in the spring, hopefully, then uh, I'll go around and get a haircut. Yeah. Pretty enthusiastic about that. <laughs> By then, I guess I'll just grow so it longer. So now you do. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you so much for sending your questions. I can tell you for us, it was really special to have this video made. Yeah. And uh, it was really fun. So thank you. If you uh, like that, if you would like that Jan is in the videos, make sure to comment below. <laughs> and uh, he'll be part of some videos in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! Bye. <laughs>